All right, this is going to be a video. Sorry about the lighting. I look like I'm red-faced. <laughs> Bad. Anyway, it is what it is. Go San Francisco, huh? Anyway, this is a Max Sachs Imperial Alto. Um, if you look at it close, man, it almost looks new. I mean, I can't find any scratches, any dents, any dings. It, uh, I don't know how old it is. I think they said it's 2014 or something like that, but it plays great. The setup's on it's amazing. I mean, this actually is faster and slicker than my Yamaha. The problems I've had with it that, um, that, I, that I tried to fix, um, it had a floppy G-sharp. So what I did was is I strengthened the spring that puts the, the G-chart pad up, and he had it real stiff pushing it back down. So I got rid of that. Anyway, I lightened that spring tension, but you can mess with this to your heart's content. Anyway, I'm using an Ernie Northway, and I'll play my Yamaha so you hear a comparison. But here's the uh, Max Sax um, Imperial. Um, I'll do a, just do some stuff. It's, I mean, it just, the horn vibrates. My, my, my Yamaha, this thing's set up much better than my Yamaha's. So, I mean, it's it just easy. I mean, I don't, I don't know what to say. Um, feels like a, I mean, it feels like it's classically set up. Everything's in the right place. Anyway, um, so Sanborny things. So that's the Max Sax. Uh, it's got a brand new case. Looks like a backpack. Um, I also I took one of the screws off the neck. To me, it played better without it being real tightened down and being a little loose. So for comparison purposes, this is my Yamaha 82Z, which I've been playing for a few years now. And man, the lower register is not near. It's not you're nearly as easy as the Max Sax. <laughs> Anyway, um, the Imperial is a little darker horn. Um, the setup, like I said, is amazing. I mean, I, I'm i going to have to get my Yamaha set up that way. That thing is just so slick. So uh, I got it off of eBay, and we can talk about price. Uh, but let's see what you think about this. <laughs> 